guys welcome back to my channel i'm kehla or k welcome to a new vlog i posted uploaded whatever my vlog today it's currently saturday i edited it edited it every time i say that i'm just like edit, edit, i edited it edited it and uploaded it all today it's an hour and five minutes long and every time i'm like hmm doesn't seem like this video is gonna be that long and then I edit everything and it like reaches an hour I'm like oh okay I love for my vlogs to be an hour long especially when sometimes it's the only video that I upload for the week I want you guys to be able to have content and I just love filming it and I just love I love filming long videos because I'm always searching for long videos to watch and when I don't find them it's just so like <sighs> it's so sad so I'm giving people what I want to see which I've always said since I started my channel I'm putting out the content I want to see especially the long form content uh and then I wish more of the youtubers knit tubers knit podcasters that I watch I wish I can see more into their life as well because I want to live vicariously through them I want to see what they're doing you know I show what I'm doing, but it's literally not much right now. But I just I just love documenting everything because I love going back to my videos. Sometimes I go back and watch my own videos like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened or oh my gosh. Like people will be like, live in a moment, live in a moment. For me, documenting everything is living in a moment because then I can go back to that moment down the line later in life. Like anyway, I uploaded that video. I've been doing I literally accomplished everything I think I wanted to accomplish today so now it's currently 2 39 and I can just sit and knit on my October sweater which I'm doing right now I'm hoping to finish the yoke today which is a stretch and a goal <laughs> that's a super goal but I think I could do it if I end up staying up I have like round in my own I have around let me calculate this I don't feel like doing math in my head oh 16 rounds of this section left oh you can't even see me and then I'll have 12 more rounds of another one I'm pretty sure so I'm trying to get through to 16 right now which it's a lot of rounds for the 200 plus stitches on my needles right now but that's okay that's okay maybe even 300 I don't know but yeah I'm just gonna knit for the rest of the day probably not gonna film much because I really want to focus on getting these rounds done but in this vlog I don't want to focus much on my October sweater because I am filming if you're a cat in the background it's my cat he wants pets to sleep <laughs> He's very needy. I'll get him in a second. But I want to focus on finishing my socks in this vlog, which will be a week's worth of content as usual. So yeah, I want to focus on the socks. And I'm filming an October sweater video specifically for the October sweater. So I don't want to put a lot of content in here. I'll be putting it more in that video for you guys. So yeah and then I think I'm gonna start the weekend hat by Petite Knit. Listen Petite Knit is my favorite designer okay and I'm gonna talk about that in a knit and chat. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and you guys asked me a lot. I have like 40 questions I'm just gonna split it up into like two different knit and chat videos so I can have content for you guys and for myself. So anyway, that's enough talking. This intro, my intros are always long. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.
We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. Re- Guys, I split for sleeves. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that fabric. Look at this wide neckline. I'm so excited. I'm going to knit some of the body and then do the neckline because I really like to see my sweaters with the collar done because then it just makes me even more excited to finish. And this collar is two by two rib. <laughs> so I'm very excited. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys that little update. I'm about to watch my streamer, so I got stuff to catch up on. But it's currently January 22nd, 1.36 p.m. And I'm just ahead of the game right now, which I'm so happy about. Trust me. I'm so happy. Anyway, let's knit the body. Because I am so ahead with my sweater and I am now on the body split for sleeves and everything, I'm just going to start working on my socks. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. I got to wash this real quick. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, so because I'm so ahead in my project, I'm just going to work on this second Sunday sock for Malika. Let me refresh you guys in case you forgot or actually didn't see my last vlog, but I finished this one Sunday sock for Malika. It's to match her set. I'll put a picture right here that she made. She asked me to knit up her, knit her up some socks knit up some socks for her sentences bro so I finished that one I started the second one how long did I I didn't follow the pattern measurement for this so I need to I have a long time before I need to figure out where to stop like how many inches centimeters so I'm just gonna work on this because I'm able to work on smaller projects when my wrists are aching from the cold it's like cold aches for my wrists are so different from like fatigue aches. Like it's just, oh, it sucks. Anyway, yeah. And I don't even really talk about it because it doesn't really happen like that. And it hasn't been cold. <laughs> and it's winter now. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to work on this sock. And you know what? We're going on a walk as a family tomorrow because we're going hiking Friday or Saturday. Oh, I'll be starting a new vlog. Yeah, so I can film that. So yeah, we're going to go hiking as a family Saturday, Friday or Saturday. And tomorrow we're going walking as a family to just get us prepped and ready for it because, you know, we don't hike normally. <laughs> so our legs need to get used to it. And I used to walk every single day in the mornings but I don't anymore so yeah yeah I'm excited so yeah anyway just wanted to update you guys on that we're gonna try and get some progress and I might bring this on a walk tomorrow that'll be fun yeah bring this on a walk tomorrow maybe listen to an audiobook as well walking knitting listening to an audiobook oh wait that sounds good that sounds good so yeah if you guys watch my old vlogs from like what two years ago you guys would have seen some clips of me walking with my sisters and stuff because we used to walk all the time but yeah i'm not gonna vlog it but i'll let you guys know when i'm back home so see ya just kidding guys why is this slip? here we go we're not walking because California has some crazy high winds. 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 That's a weird word to say. Winds. And it's just going to be too windy, so we're not walking. California winds are crazy, bro. Like, dangerously crazy. Anyway, you guys see red right here I was like I didn't realize I was scratching my face over the course of a couple of days and I just like ended up making forming like a rash or something 
I don't know if that ever happens to you guys, but now I have to like, put stuff over it so I can stop scratching so I can just go away. Anyway, I just wanted to say that because I wanted to scratch it and like stop. Anyway, I'm wearing my holiday slipover. I'm just relaxing. This is my little progress in the sock from last night. I'm just going to knit this sock up for a good portion of the day, probably until... It's currently 7.53 right now, probably until like 12 o'clock maybe. Try to get the le leg, leg, foot, yeah. I'll try to get a good portion of the leg done. If not the entire leg done, that'll be great. And then watch some knitting videos because people have finally been posting. <laughs> I hate when I catch up to all the videos that I have to watch because then I'm just like, what do I watch now? Like, and then if the streamers I watch aren't on, it's like, who do I watch? Who do I watch? Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna chill. I'll eat a little later. And yeah, it's gonna be a nice chill day, which I'm excited for. So yeah, no walking, which I'm not <laughs> upset about. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later with a little update. Today is great guys. I just finished eating. I have an ice cream sandwich that I'm about to eat. I am doing the gusset decreases for this sock right now. Halfway through with it or I'll say more than halfway because the foot doesn't take long at all and neither does the toe. So I'm almost done. No, I would say I'm halfway done with the gusset decreases and then I'll just Knit, 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 pearl, knit, pearl for the foot, and then I'll be done with the toe. <sighs> so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might stay up to finish this sock because, yeah, yeah, because why not? Like, there's really no other explanation. Today's a great day. I got more progress than I thought I would, and I'm thinking. I really want to start this weekend hat by Petite Knit so then I can take that on the hike and have like a nice medium, small medium project, you know, instead of having like a sock. And I don't want to have like my sweater or anything because then it's huge and I really don't want a huge project while hiking so I feel like the beanie will be perfect so yeah I'm gonna make sure to start on that before we leave but I have enough time so I think I'm probably gonna cast it on, I'm gonna finish this sock. And then I honestly want to finish at least one sock for my everyday socks by Petite Knit. And then maybe I can start the weekend hat. Yeah, get a few rows into that and then go back to my sweater. I like that idea. Let's get it. I'm gonna eat this ice cream, chill, watch some YouTube videos and yeah. Alexandra just posted a video, so you already know we're about to watch that. Oh, come here, Malika. Malika's wearing my Monday sweater. You're Told you guys she would sweater. steal it. Look at that. You heard her? She said your Monday sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> that looks so good on you. Because it's. That looks so good in me. general. Anyway, see you guys. We're about to go walking. I was to make sure this isn't close. We're about to go walking. I have my Sophie shawl. Yeah, around my neck. I even tied my my little what are these things called? These things so that it can scrunch up around my neck because listen. What's what's the degrees? 45 degrees and a little windy. California so it's gonna be cold I even have earmuffs so that I haven't worn these since like <clears throat> I moved here but I have them so that the wind won't get to me and I'm gonna be listening 
to a book. I'm slowly getting into audiobooks. I read, of course, you guys, I mean, if you guys have been watching, I loved Axar series. And so someone recommended like this graphic audio book on script, which is like, it's like a cast of people acting out the characters and stuff. And you can hear like birds chirping in the background and water and stuff like that. So I'm like, ooh, let me listen to that. And maybe this can get me into audiobooks, even though like I know most audiobooks aren't like this, but if I can get used to like someone talking in a like, how do I explain this? If I can get used to reading a book by hearing someone talking, it can slowly get me into audiobooks. Because I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing in the future, I'm going to rely on audiobooks. Yeah. So, I'm starting with that. Reading Akatar. Let me say I'm listening to Akatar. I don't know. I still count audiobooks as reading. So, anyway, I am on the toe of this sock. But I'm going to work on it when I get back on the walk. I'm going to work on my everyday sock by Petite Knit. It's this right here. I'm on the foot, so all I have to do is knit stockinette so for like a little while. So it's a perfect project. It's small and easy. And this is Cauldron Boil Me by Red Door Fiber Studio, hand-dyed yarn. It is... I don't remember the composition. It is 40% merino, 40% kid mohair, and 20% nylon. So I'm very excited to finish these socks so I can see how warm it is. And I tagged Kate in my story when I showed the sock and she was like, let me know if it's too warm, okay, because of the mohair. So I'm excited to wear it out and test it for her. So yeah. What time is it? Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna bring this with me, just stick it in my pocket. And let's get it! Oh, and I got new shoes. Let me show you guys real quick. Stuff this up. It's Molly. I got new shoes for hiking. These are so cute. My favorite color is green, so you know I had to get green. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So yeah, I got them yesterday, so I need to break them in for hiking. Yeah. Anyway, now I'll see you guys later. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm back. We walked three miles. It was an hour long. Oh, I had my watch, so I did like some outdoor whatever. Bruh. Oh my gosh. I haven't walked that much in so long. I just want to... Uh, but now, let me do my little morning routine, and then I'll be back to finish this sock. I did a little bit of knitting on this sock, but I'll start more knitting on this sock after I finish that Sunday sock. Woo! I really want to finish the Sunday sock because I don't usually gift knit. So this is like the first official gift knit, I guess, I've ever done. Which, it's weird considering it gift knitting when I'm giving it to another knitter who knows how to knit. I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. See you guys. Same day, guys. New sweatshirt. Mm hmm I just got the Elizabeth Bluffs pattern. You guys, I it's taking everything in me not to start this right now because <gasps> I don't think I showed you guys I showed my Instagram story so if you watch my Instagram stories you will know but I wasn't sure what yarn I was going to use for the Elizabeth blouse I'll put it on a screen like the picture of the Elizabeth blouse so you know what it looks like so you can imagine it and picture it whenever I show you the yarn but oh my gosh I wasn't sure I was like I'm probably gonna have to you know step away from my yarn band and buy some yarn but I was like no let's just shop the stash let's see and I had of course hand dyed yarn and matching mohair why are my hands so whatever matching mohair oh my gosh this is gonna be so great this is gonna be so great let me show you guys just a little 
break real quick to show you guys Onyx, what she does when she's sleepy. Okay. Why do I look like a cave woman or something like Actually, I look like that scary, that scary girl. I'll put a picture. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's show you. Da -da 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 -ding! So let's hold it like this. Oh my. I got this yarn in 2021. This was part of the first set of yarns hand dyed yarns that I bought ever like the first ever it was the Taylor Swift collection by Sorella and it was like August 2021 I was in Vegas with my sisters and my mom and we were just like taking care of some business and stuff and this was back when I didn't know how to knit I'm pretty sure yeah pretty sure it was when I didn't let me see when I posted these pictures, because it could have been July. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh. It was before. Okay. So my pictures are posted August 9th, and I know I posted on the same day, on the same day that I uh, took the picture. So <laughs> August 9th, 2021, I was in Vegas. So it was between those days, August 9th, August 10th, August eighth whatever I don't know when the Taylor Swift collection dropped but whenever it did that was when I bought the hand dyed yarn how did I even come across her I don't even know how I came across her but I was like slowly getting into hand dyed yarn it was probably Aro but does Aro buy Sorella yarn I don't know but all I know is that I was introduced to hand dyed yarn by watching Aro Knits and Pearls, watching her podcast. So it had to be through her in some way. Maybe she put her on her story or something. Either way, I bought Taylor Swift Collection. I bought Lover Yarn, which I still have in my stash, which I'll probably use like in the summer or something like that because those colors are beautiful. And then I also bought Out of the Woods. I'm not sure if I bought anything else from the collection, but this is Out of the Woods. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. And this was back, like I said, when I didn't know how to knit. So I taught myself how to knit August 15th, you guys. And I took that picture on a night. So I bought this yarn before I knew how to knit, before I even thought about knitting. Literally the same day I taught myself how to knit is the same day that I thought about knitting. So I was crocheting at the time. I'm sorry, this story is so long, but I have to tell you guys everything so then you can understand where I'm going, even though it's already confusing. But Stay with me, bear with me. Anyway, so I bought a sweater's quantity of yarn for a crochet sweater. So I have over 2,000 yards of each for a crochet sweater. So I have way more than enough for a knit sweater because the most that I would need for an oversized knit sweater for myself is like 1,600 yards. And I have over 2,000. So I have six hanks of this. I was going ham. When I first started buying hand dyed yarn, I was going ham. I was going crazy. But, oh, come on. Oh, you don't want to stay with me? You just want the floor? Oh, I was duped. It's fine. Anyway, so yeah. Six hanks of this. Like, it is just so pretty. And it's... 100% superwash merino wool, 438 yards. And then this is the color, the same, see, what is it called? The same colorway, just in mohair. This is back when I was buying mohair with it as well. And I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but this is 72% kid mohair, 28% silk, 459 yards. So these are both out of the woods. And this is going to be the most amazing Elizabeth Blouse, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Blouse ever. Hold on, Onyx wants to leave. So yeah, this is going to be the best Elizabeth Blouse ever. And the fact that I have the yarn right now is what is making it so hard not to start on this right now. But I gave myself a rule. I will only have one humongous project at a time. Sweater 
at a time. I will not knit multiple sweaters at the same time, except I kind of broke that rule when I went to Sweden and I started the Chunky Dahlia when I still had the Monday sweater, but I immediately finished the Monday sweater right after, okay? And the Chunky Dahlia, I needed to do that, okay? All right. Anyway, so yeah, I need to finish my October sweater first before I start this Elizabeth blouse. But I want to start it right now so badly, but just want to show you guys the art I'm using because I'm obsessed. And it's time to use it, okay? It's about to be two years this year that it's been in my stash, so... I'm excited. Anyway, that's it. Hey, the cats are everywhere. It is time for me to eat. It's 9.45 right now a.m. It feels weird starting my day right now because we walked and everything. I'm just like, ugh, I usually start my day at like 7.40 something. But it's okay. I feel refreshed and great. So let's finish this sock and then I can continue my everyday socks by Patina. Just a Sunday socks by Petite Knit. I love Petite Knit and I'm thinking, hmm, I kind of want to film a knit and chat today. But I'm like, do I want to get cute for the knit and chat? Not really. Like, I can just be chill, answer some questions. But then, do I feel like filming a knit and chat because it's going to be kind of long? Hmm, I don't know. I might film a knit and chat for the new month. Yeah. Yeah, I might film it for, I think February 1st is on a Wednesday, which is when I usually post my, like, second, first video. If I have two videos for the week, I usually post on Wednesdays, and then the second one is on Saturday, so. I think I might film it next week for the first, so, yeah. Hey, Ollie, come. Come. Right here, just step on me. Come on. <laughs> Hi. You're so cute. He's like, is it safe? Hi. Thunder, come here. Hi. <gasps> I love my cats. I love cats, period. Look, can you see yourself? <laughs> You're so sleepy. Onyx. Uh, okay, I'm gonna spend time with my cats and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Guys, hello. I decided to get a little cute <laughs> because I might feel like filming the knit and chat later. We'll see. When, like right after I filmed that clip, I was like, hmm, well, what if I don't want to film the knit and chat? It'll, it'll still be for like February 1st, but it'll be like way ahead of time. I can edit it and stuff like that, but... We shall see. Right now, I'm going to figure out what I want to eat for breakfast, because I don't know. Thunder! <laughs> yes? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to figure out what I want to eat for breakfast, and then I'm just going to chill, listen to my audio book. And then do some knitting on the sock. Yeah, so I can finish it today and finally give it to Malika. Who is wearing pajamas because she's like, it's pajama day. Yeah, but I got this new sweatshirt, so I was just like, I can't participate. But Khalil's participating, so. Yeah. I think, she actually. Is. I don't know. I don't know if I saw pajamas in the back. I did. It's yeah. the one you wear to sleep. Oh, okay. Anyway, guys, let's get this day started. Started! Let's do this! I think I'm gonna eat some cereal in strudel. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Reese's puff, Reese's puff. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. See, she's wearing pajamas. Pajamas. <laughs> All eyes on me in the center of the ring. Yes, guess. Oh. <laughs> oh, you just didn't understand.
Yeah, I'm like what Two is more? so sick? Mm. I'm already sleepy. Girl, Girl wait till I was filming earlier and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <gasps> mm. <gasps> Bro, we don't have anything. We got greens. Yeah. They're making eggs, guys, and we need seasoning. Okay. I used it all when I cooked. Like we have, you know. Did you know that paprika is just crushed red bell peppers? <gasps> what? I saw it on Twitter. Verify oh, that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> What is paprika? It's literally paprika, yeah, and not, pa not paprika. <gasps> paprika is a spice made from dried and ground red peppers. <laughs> what? Who just knows that? I mean, I guess cooks. Place of origin, Mexico. Of Makes course. sense. What? That's actually cool. Guys, I like to eat a lot in one sitting so then I don't have to eat for the rest of the day. So I have cereal, I have strudels, Malik is making eggs, and Kalila, you gonna make turkey bacon? For real, Where it's me. Where the butter at? Right? You don't have butter. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm I was like, bro, no. <laughs> Just gonna have to warm that in the microwave. <laughs> You want mine? Shut up! I'll eat my eggs. She tucks her pajamas into her pants. Her pajama top into her pants. Turn around, you weirdo. Look at that. Disgusting. There is no way you should be. I'm about to go in bed. Okay? I know. No, you didn't say that. Okay, so yeah. But there is no reason why you should be tucking your <laughs> pajama top into your pajama bottom. That's a disgrace. Onyx. Oh, my hair is on you. Turn the light up. Do you like do you like this or something? Do you like the sweet stuff? Well, I'm trying to help you out, but it's too late. I also don't need to be open. Oh, you want to see one? <laughs> Only. <laughs> <laughs> Once oh, one meat and eggs, but. He's like, you better sell already. No. <laughs> Help. This dude. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. <laughs> Oh my gosh, good morning guys. 11.52, went on a morning walk, three miles, three, three miles again. And oh my gosh, my body is so sore. I need to do this more often so I can stop feeling sore. Anyway, I was supposed to be working on my everyday. <laughs> Thunder. He just wants some pets so he can sleep, but I want to just film this real quick and then I'll give him some pets. Anyway, I was supposed to be working on my everyday socks, right? Yeah, instead I decided to start on a collar of my October sweater and I started it yesterday and finished it. 
upcoming vendor. So, stop. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And oh my gosh, the increases, or are those increases? I don't know. I think so. Around the neckline. Oh my gosh. So perfect. So I know that it's the front. Also, I did a weird bind off inside. We're not going to talk about that. I'm coming. But it also like flops like this. But when I block it, it's, it's going to be fine. It seems like I have elastic like going through the bottom but I don't but when I block it it'll, it'll lie flat so yeah now it's time to just work on a body oh, I'm excited just continue working on a body and that's it uh, I just needed I just needed the collar to be done so that I can visualize what the sweater is gonna look like and see it in its nice beauty he's like come on bro I'm coming, Thunder. Anyway, I don't have any other updates, really. I just want to work on this, on the body of this sweater. And that's it. I've been listening to my books and stuff. I'm on the second book now. And, like, all I can do right now is knit and listen to that audiobook. It's so good. It's, I'm, I'm on a great part right now. I'm like, okay, let me film a little bit. And then, yeah. I can get back to reading. So I'm gonna go pet him to sleep and then get back to my reading and stuff. So yeah, I can't believe it's still morning. That's actually weird. Anyway, I feel like I've done so much. Yeah. That's why I haven't finished the collar. It was so easy. Okay, tools. <laughs> to spend this week working and finishing the socks you know and I barely worked on the everyday socks but hey I finished the Sunday socks so that was like the main priority so you know I'll say that I accomplished that okay tomorrow's the last day of the vlog and I have like five inches left uh, before I start the body of this sweater, which is so exciting and actually like crazy because I, it's, it's showing me how fast I'm knitting. Like, look at this. Ooh, this is so, I love this so much. Everyone. But look at this. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy how... Like when I show you guys, it looks, I mean, you can see the mohair and the fuzz and all of that and stuff like that. But when it's outside, it's like the mohair disappears and you can see the beautiful colors. And it's so great. I don't know if I put a picture already, but I'll put a picture of what the sweater looks like outside in the shade. No editing or anything. Just took it on my iPhone 11. Okay crazy what it looks like outside and this is what it looks like inside oh this looks so good the colors and what's crazy is i'm listening to akatar because i started knitting on this sweater and then this colorway is called starfall and then they talk about starfall and i'm like and i'm just like please now it's making me want to work with the rest of the akatar yarn oh 
that I have. I have so much. I'm so excited. Wait. Okay, but I, I need to calm down. It's okay. First sweater with Akatar yarn. Almost done. I mean, we're not almost done. We're, we're like close to halfway done. I will say we're halfway done when I reach the ribbing of the body because the sleeves don't take that long. Yeah. Anyway, it's currently 11.04. I need to post my reels. I only have three reels left, you guys. So I need to go on a filming spree again. Should I do that tomorrow? It's so easy to come up with ideas. So I need 10. I like to do, um, I told you guys before, but I, I want to start doing 10 reels at a time. Like coming up with 10 reel ideas and then filming the 10 reel ideas. And then when I get down to three two left and then I can you know start it again so my reels have been going really well I like it it's awesome anyway oh Malika showed her pants that she's making oh it looks so good you guys will have to go to her Instagram to see I'm not giving any spoilers anyway so I'm currently listening to the second book of Akatar. I'm almost done with it. I have an hour left. I have a bunch of videos that I need to catch up on. I just keep every day because I'm listening to these books all day and knitting. I guess that's why I'm knitting like a mad woman. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I didn't film that video. I think I filmed it today actually. Knitting chat? I don't know. Every time, like, I feel like filming, and then suddenly I get sucked into the book and knitting, and ah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, we shall see. But as long as I film it before February 1st, I'll be fine. What is today? Today is Thursday. Okay. So, yeah, I will film that video at some point. Maybe. Maybe Sunday. I don't know. Maybe. We shall see. My new vlog is going to start when I go hiking. So, yeah. I'm just looking at the calendar and like going over plans. Okay. I will try to finish the Everyday Socks next vlog. Okay, this vlog was like really chill. It was really relaxing. I didn't do much except, I mean, actually, I finished the Sunday socks. I split for sleeves. Did I start out this vlog split for sleeves? I don't even know. I don't remember. But I split for sleeves on my October sweater, you know. <gasps> I need to start my weekend hat. We can start that tomorrow when I, like the last day of the vlog, I can, I can take half the day to start and knit some of that hat, the weekend hat by Petite Knit, and then end up the vlog, edit the vlog, schedule it, because we're gonna be hiking on the day that the video goes live, so I'll need that edited on the actual day that I tell myself to edit, which is on a Friday, so, which is tomorrow. So yeah, weekend hat. Yeah, and then, because I want to take the weekend hat hiking, I don't want to take this humongous sweater on a hike, and then I don't want to take the everyday socks because those are small, and then I don't want to have to like do toe decreases while I'm hiking. I just want something that's mindless, and one by one rib, mindless, okay? Yeah, like I usually tell you guys, I use these videos to just get all of my ramblings out because... I need an outlet. I need, I can talk to my sisters, but then we're going to talk all day and then we'll get nothing done. So I just talk to you guys. Okay. And yeah, I like it. It's great. So sorry for all the rambling, but it's not going to stop. Okay. <laughs> just saying. All right. And I think that's it. I think those are all the updates. I'm very excited to start my next project which is a Friday slipover by Petite Knit. I don't think I've, I've told you guys this yet but Friday slipover it's broken broken rib stitch 
and I've never done broken rib before. Very excited for that. I already have the yarn for it. It's knitting for olive merino and soft silk mohair. here. I was like, is that a cat? <laughs> you start on me. I didn't know you were recording on me. Oh, you're fine. But yeah, so, and I have burgundy and then I have blue. But I think I'm going to do burgundy since I'm already working with like green and blues. You know, we can switch it up a little bit. So I'll work with like the burgundy yarn first and then I'm going to knit another Friday slipover, which is going to be in a blue yarn. But I don't know if I'm going to do that right after this Friday slipover. But anyway, that's for later. I don't even know why I'm like telling you guys all this now, but I'm, it's just plans. And then once planning me starts planning, I just start planning way ahead. Anyway. Yeah, I need to post this reel, so I will see you guys with an update later. Last day of the vlog, I already have my needles, my stitch marker, and my needle stoppers for this beanie project. And I literally said I'm not going to knit beanies again, and here we go. I just, Petite Knits beanies look so nice and thick and, and juicy, you know, unlike this beanie that's just like one dimensional. <laughs> compared to like her Ozzo hat and weekend hat where it's like double triple folded so it's like nice and thick I'm like okay that's what I've been wanting yeah so I'm not gonna start my beanie yet because I reached the ribbing I didn't start the ribbing for my body yet for my I was gonna say Monday sweater I'm so used to my default being a Monday sweater my October sweater by Petite Knit boom this is the body my belly button is right here, so it's well over my belly button. It's at my waist right now. This is like my waistband of my pants. So, boom! And now it's time to do the split hem ribbing, which I have been, ugh, I've been looking forward to doing that since before I started the pattern. That's what enticed me to even want to do the pattern. When I saw that split hem, I was like, yeah yeah we're doing that so i am going to do that watch some videos that i have left before i start listening to my audiobook because that has been woo, taking all my attention which is fine okay because i've been zooming through my knitting because of it which is actually crazy but yeah anyway so i'm gonna work on that and then later on today i'm gonna start on the weekend hat i'm not sure when but i want to I wanna get you know kind of deep into the body ribbing so i don't know i might i might keep filming until later tonight and just stay up editing and stuff you know as a consequence <laughs> so yeah i don't know we shall see i'll let you guys know as the day goes on it's currently 7 41 i'm going to get something to eat so i can get that out of the way you know and then I can start on everything. So I can listen to some audiobook right now. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that.
I just finished eating. Oh my god, this is crooked. Whenever I edit, whenever I'm like, oh my gosh, it's crooked. It never looks crooked, but whatever. Anyway, I just finished eating a burrito. Oh god. Now I'm drinking a poppy. And I started the weekend hat, which is I literally only started it right now because I reached the end of my cake and so I have to cake up more yarn. The next two hanks that I have, I have to cake it up, which is fine. I'll just do that later tonight, I think. Yeah, because when I come back from hiking and stuff like that, I want to be able to pick up this project. But I'm so glad I started the body, the body ribbing. Ugh. It makes me so happy because progress, like once I'm done with the body, you guys, first of all, I'm excited to see the split hem two by two rib, but I'm really excited to finish this project just so I can see what it looks like when I'm done with it. I swear, I enjoy each process like equally. Like I love, I love starting a project. I love going through the middle of the project i love finishing the project i love the yarn like oh it's just so great every step of the way i think that's why i don't get any type of island you know sleeve island body island whatever island like i just love it and then i love the yarn so much i'm like i need to see what this yarn looks like finished you know what this project looks like with the yarn finished and i'm excited for my next project because it's something i haven't done before like i explained to you guys already so yeah i just finished eating and stuff like that so now i'm going to relax and chill oh my gosh i'm so full like oh my god and i'm gonna knit on this beanie oh it's nice to have something that's just mindless i still have my sophie shawl i think next vlog i'm gonna try to finish the sophie shawl that i have and the everyday socks those can be like priority and then the beanie, I don't care to finish that right away. It can be my new project that I just take everywhere. But what if I can finish? Okay, look. Mm. I was gonna say I can finish the sweater. I can, but I'm not gonna like rush and force myself to. Even though I think I might finish it in the upcoming week. Probably by the end of the week. But I don't know. My priority will be the socks. At least one half of the socks yeah at least the one that i'm working on now and then definitely the sophie shawl because i think i am like six rounds away from starting the decreasing section which won't take long at all so yeah that's great <laughs> guys i'm gonna end out the vlog here i'm currently watching well loved knits her new knit and chat everyone's putting out knit and chats i have yarn on my lips or cat hair probably cat fur anyway everyone's putting out knit and chats which i'm happy for and which i'm gonna be filming one on sunday i'm very excited for that i like sitting down and answering questions but anyway Watching her, got more progress, obvious progress on my beanie, which is great, but I'm gonna end up the vlog here so that I have time to edit it, like get all the clips together, edit it. Not sure how long that's gonna take me because then I have to rewatch everything. But yeah, anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you worked on while watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever I post another video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post any and everything about my yarn and my projects. And I'll see you guys in the next one.